Hello, hello, hello. And today we will be making a procedural gold texture. You can also use this for like any material or any metal you want to do in this. Um, but it has to be like a rougher kind of metal because it's going to be like a shine. Like it's going to be shiny gold, but it's not going to be like a soft, smooth gold. It's more going to be like a rougher variant of it. But if you don't like that, you can just remove some of the bump nodes and it should work fine also as a as a flatter gold texture. So yeah, let's begin. First of all, we need a noise texture. So let's get this noise texture in here. Um, Control T to again give out the texture co coordinate, plug in, plug in the object node, bring us back a bit to the left. Control Shift to preview it. And let's set the scale to 4. Details to max, distortion 2.3. Okay, this is looking great. So now we need a second noise texture. So we're just going to duplicate this with Shift D. Again, plug the object into the vector. And then set the roughness to uh, 2.8 and the distortion back down to 0. We can preview this as well. This looks something like this. This is more like smaller things. You can also, if you want, you can set up the scale to like a 5 or something. If you want more difference between that, but a 4 also works. Okay, again, bring this back a little bit. Um, let's select both. Press Control 0 to automatically mix the two together. Change this from mix to darken and bring the factor up to 1. Now we're going to work on the base color, so let's just bring in a color ramp, put this here, and then let's get here something like, oh, something like this probably. Yeah, something around this works pretty well. And then let's get something like this, I feel like. And then we can bring this to around about here and plug this into the base color. Let's see how this looks. Pretty fine already. So, okay, sorry, this should be at 0 and this should be at 0.5. So let's switch this to 1 because it's obviously a metal and switch this to a 0.3. Um, this already could work as a gold texture, but I still want more to this. So let's add a bump node. Shift A, get a bump node this here, plug this into the normal, and then we will just get this one here and plug this into the height. This obviously is way too much, so let's bring this down to like a 0 0.002 works for me. I think you can Theoretically, push it a little bit harder to 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, but I think 0 0.02 works great for me. So let's get that there. Then let's get a third noise texture, object into vector again, preview it, and this time we want a scale of 3.3, detail down to 4, roughness down to 0.4. And we want a color ramp in here to mix this up. And we want to bring this a bit forward and this a bit forward, just to have like a bit more highlights. Something like this is fine. Duplicate the bump node, put this here, color goes into height, change the height to 0.3. Uh, 0 0.03. Preview it again. We have like way small details, like if you mute this. You, you can see we have like just a tiny bit more details and then let's add a third layer of details for this we need a third noise texture so let's get this here get this put this into the vector again here put this into the vector I don't know what this is doing down here so get rid of it then we need a Warner texture, so let's just grab one Warner texture, preview this, change this to distance to edge, color goes to vector here, 
and we want to change this to a scale of 4, max up detail again, roughness goes to a 0.5 again, and this scale is to 2. You can obviously put this bigger if you want like more scratches or less scratches. I like I like I like 2. Um, you can also I think you can also put this to uh, 2.4 or uh, 2.5. This should also work. And then let's get a color ramp in here. So color ramp, and then just bring this really to like around about here, I would say, and then get an invert node because you want to invert this and just put this here, and this is kind of fine. Then duplicate this noise texture again. I know it's the last noise noise texture we are, we are, we are gonna gonna need for this, but bear with me for a second. Pre preview it. Scale to 18. Details stay. Roughness stays. Distortion stays. Duplicate the color ramp. Put the color ramp into here. And now we kind of have to bring it up to uh, around here, I would say. Could probably also do like something like this. It's probably fine. And then we, we, then we want to take, take the two and just do control zero again. Sorry, we just like the two. Control zero again, and then we want to change this blend mode from mix to darken, and then bring this all the way up to one. And then you can basically control the amount of white you get or bump you get with this. And you can make like these small kind of holes in, in your gold. Like I like something like this probably. This is probably pretty nice. This is enough details for it to not look weird. And then let's bring this into our final product. So du duplicate the bump once again. Put this here, color goes into height. And for this we will take a strength of like a 0.5. I would I would I would, I would say that looks pretty cool. Um well, we can even go higher. I think we can like a 0.1. Okay, so let's preview it. So we can now uh, we can also invert it. So now we can see those little differences there. If we mute this, you can see like these little things just go away. So yeah, this is our procedural goal texture, which is very simple. You can also add like way more variety into this if you just change, for example, like this, bring this a bit back, and you have like more more details or less details, but this is basically up to up to you now. And I think like this is a very very easy way to make a great metal texture for like surfaces and stuff. So yeah, I hope you could follow along and and you can use this in your in your projects. See you in the next time. Bye bye.